Hi, this is Muha. I want to say a few words for those who are interested in coming to Antaisi to practice. Uh, I will put a link to uh, our website where you can find uh, the conditions uh, for people who want to join us. Um, in short, you should be between 18 and 40 years old. You should be willing to stay for at least three years and you should speak a certain amount of Japanese. Um, first of all, is it necessary to go to Japan to practice Zen? The answer is no. You don't have to come to Japan to practice Zen. You can practice uh, Zen in America, in Europe, in a lot of places all over the world. Is it necessary to speak Japanese if you want to study Zen? The answer again is no. Um, there are a lot of good translations out there of the Japanese texts. There are a lot of good teachers in Europe, in America that speak English. Um, so it's not necessary that you speak Japanese if you want to understand Zen. But if you want to practice Zen in Japan, then my opinion is that you definitely need to speak Japanese. At least that's the case in Antaiji. And the reason for that is uh, that communication is a vital part of the practice. Um, if you come here for three years, and that's our minimum, uh, we accept aspirants for 80 days to find out if they can really uh, fit into the community and to give them an opportunity to find out for themselves if Andy is the right place for them. Um, but after the 80 days period you need to decide and we have to decide if you can actually stay for three years um, why don't we take people for only one year well the answer is in one year you might get a taste of zen uh, but you can't really contribute anything to the community um, three years of course is not the end of the practice that's a kind of a start line uh, i will put another link down here to a text that uh, Uchiyama Roshi wrote where he says first sit for 10 years uh, after 10 years uh, sit for another 10 years and then after 20 years uh, go and sit for another 10 years first you sit silently for 30 years uh, Antaiji I'm making a kind of bargain by saying well three years first sit three years but not it's not that uh, those three years are the end of practice. After three years, you can sit for another three years and then another three years. And well, nine years, nine years might be a good time to practice at Antaiji. But well, first, forget about the nine years. Uh, just sit for three years first. And if you really think about staying in a country for three years you should speak the language what happens when you come to Antaiji is you will be in the kitchen and when you work in the kitchen you're also responsible for taking telephone calls people call Antaiji and they speak Japanese they don't speak English they don't speak German or French uh, you need to be able to communicate with people there will be visitors you have to go to town hall you will have to file for visa application you have to uh, do your tax work, you have to sometimes go to the hospital. During the last uh, 16 years when I was the abbot there's been several cases of people going to the hospital or even having, even having to go to um, intensive care. And unfortunately there were a number of people who didn't speak enough Japanese so I had to go with them and be there uh, sometimes several days uh, to just to translate, which means that I can't be in the monastery during that time uh, for other people to translate. So that's the reason why now I say when you come to Antaiji, you need to 
be able to communicate in the language of the country, which is Japanese. There are some people in Antaiji that speak well enough English, but not everybody speaks uh, English, so why force the other people to communicate in English with you if you're the one who says, I want to practice Antaiji in Japan? As I said in the beginning, you don't have to go to Japan to practice Zen. If you think that you need to go to Japan to practice Zen, then you should study the language. Uh, right now we expect people in Antaji to have at least level 4 of the Japanese language proficiency test. You don't have to actually take the test, but you should have ability to speak that's equal to uh, JLPT level 4. Um, that's not super difficult, but what I, I would say it takes about one year of serious studies. When you come to Antaj, you will find that you don't have much time. So I strongly recommend that if you come to Antaj in Esperant, you study beforehand. Uh, if you think that you can study Japanese after you've arrived here, you hmm, will be surprised. Um, it's an illusion. If you come here with zero Japanese language, probably hmm, it's going to be hard to learn it here. So if for you Zen practice is a life and death matter, and that's what it's supposed to be, then if it's untidy where you want to practice, get serious. Uh, study the language. But then again, there are other places. You don't have to come to Antaji to practice Zen. Uh, there's other places in Europe, there's other places in America, there's other Asian countries that offer Buddhist practice. So if you say, hey, I'm well above 40, I also I don't speak Japanese, but still I'm really serious about uh, practicing in Antaji. Maybe think once more. Uh, there are other options. There are other options. Mm. And if you really still think that it must be Antaji, then get serious. Prepare yourself. Mm. So much for today. Have a good year, 2018.